Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Padasalis. In this video, I'm going to discuss the answers for those questions that has been asked in shift 2 of the CSR examination. So if you wrote your examination shift 1, you can check it. Uh, already I just uploaded a shift 1 questions and the answers for those shift 1 questions. You can search in my channel or else I'll be giving the link in the description below. So the first question is that catabolic end product of purine in human will be what? The answer is uric acid. You can refer this particular article that is regulation of uric acid metabolism and excretion. So here they just clearly mention in human the final compound of purine catabolism is uric acid. And in all other mammals, they will be having a special enzymes called uricase that will be converting a uric acid to allantoin. Okay. So please, I, I don't know how many of you uh, given urea as the answer. So uric acid is the answer. So please... Uh, 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 please understand what type of question has been asked. They are asking catabolic end product. They didn't ask you what is the excretive product of human. They are asking the catabolic end product of purine metabolism. So the answer is uric acid. So the next question is with regarding to transposon. So example of transposon, I think so. So if you are going to study about transposon, you can refer this particular article. Friends, it is available in Nature website, so you can refer. It is providing you a, a detailed explanation, crisp uh, explanation with regard to CSR examination. So example of lines include human endogenous retrovirus and TY element. And example of non-LTR retrotransposon includes L1. And example of sign elements include ALU element. Next is with regarding to statistical procedure. I don't know what is the entire question. They had given in match the following. So, anawise analysis of variance which is used when a difference in mean values of more than two groups is given. And standard deviation is nothing but it's how different the population mean is likely to be from the sample mean. And with regard to kurtosis, it is nothing but it's a measure of tiredness of the distribution. So, here I had given you a few explanation. Like if you know, if you want to understand anything, you can search this particular thing. Next question is that black buck is protected by which community of India? Okay, so black buck is pro, uh, protected by this particular Bishnoi community. Actually, it is a village. Bishnoi is a village which is located in Rajasthan. In this particular village, we can be able to see a large number of black buck, peacocks. They are the integral part of community and nobody will harm them. Okay, and uh, black buck means nothing but it's called as Indian antelope. It's like a deer. Which cell is responsible for degeneration or inhibition of Mullerian duct? If you refer this particular national division series in that I just uploaded an important sex determination pathway that I provide you complete notes for unit number 7. In that I had detailed mentioned you about this particular thing. And here uh, Mullerian duct can be uh, degenerated by a hormone called anti-Mullerian hormone or a Mullerian inhibiting substance. And this substance has been secreted by a uh, embryonic testis. Okay. So the answer for this particular question is that... Sertoli cells are involved in a uh, degeneration of the Mullerian duct because up uh, here you can be able to see in this particular journal which has been published or uh, uh, which has been given in this particular website that is NLA website. So Mullerian inhibiting factor which is also called as anti-Mullerian hormone play a significant role in sexual dif differentiation and this particular hormone is produced by Sertoli cells in male fetus and it will signal the regression of Mullerian duct. Okay, so the correct answer is Sertoli cells. So the next question is that pericide is observed in which cell? So here you can refer either this particular article. Okay, so this particular article you can refer or else you can refer this particular article. So pericide is nothing but they are fibroblast-like cell which have an extensive cytoplasmic process that will be wrapping the endothelial cells present in arterioles, uh, capillaries and venules. So pericide is observed in uh, endothelial cell as well as in capillary arterioles and venules. So you can refer this particular article or else you can go for referring this particular article. Okay. Next, gibberellic acid belong to which type of terpene? Okay, so gibberellin is a phytohormone and it is uh, belonging to a diterpene compound. So gibberellin is called this pentacyclic diterpene compound and is generally having an important role in cell elongation, seed germination, dormancy, reproductive growth. Okay. A biodiversity act is administrated at which level whether it is administrated at state level or at local level i don't know the correct answer but generally the correct answer might be at local level because this biological diversity act was born on 2002 in india only so after realizing the united nation convention of biological demand on uh, uh, diversity on 1992 indian government has diversed this particular act and this act in envisaged on three tire structure to regulate the access to biological resource so that three tire structure include first stage is the national biodiversity authority and the second stage is the state biodiversity board and the last stage is the biodiversity management committees at local level so the correct option is local level 
match the following cancer with the site of origin so carcinoma so you can refer this particular website friends it is providing a clear explanation so for your upcoming csr examination or if you are preparing for some other examination that might be helpful for you carcinoma has been originated from epithelial that is a cancer carcinoma is a cancer occurring internal and external lining of body sarcoma is a cancer that has been originated from supportive and connective tissues such as bones tendon cartilage muscle and fat and leukemia is a cancer of bone marrow and melanoma will is a cancer which will be occurring in, which will be affecting the plasma cells of bone marrow i don't know uh, you will be collapsing between leukemia and melanoma but the correct answer is over here and next is with regard to extracellular matrix and they are asking you to match okay so tight junction is that it will be forming a junction between two adjacent animal cells and the cells are held tightly against each other by a protein so protein generally include cla 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 claudin and occludin okay so desmosomes are nothing but they are specialized and highly ordered membrane domain that will be mediating a cell to cell contact and they are mediating a strong adhesion and gap junction is nothing but these are the channel present between uh, between the adjacent cell which will be allowing a transport of ions nutrient and other substances that will enabling a cell to communicate so gap junction is present in animal and plasmodesmata is also having a same uh, function of gap junction but plasmodesmata is present in blood i think this particular question has been repeated uh, that has been asked in previous years of csr question paper Next, DCMU inhibit photosynthesis at which state? DCMU means a uh, three, three uh, comma four dichlorophenyl one comma one dimethyl urea. It is a photosynthesis inhibitor that is very precise and sensitive in the mechanism. And this particular DCMU inhibit or block the photosystem two that that places QB that is plastoquinone. It will be sub. It will be uh, attacking the inhibiting the plastoquinone binding site, thereby preventing the flow of electron from photosystem two to plastoquinone. Which of the following post translational histone modification is involved in dna repair so you can either refer this particular thing in this particular thing what they had given means post translation modification in histone proteins is a covalent modification which mainly consists of methylation of uh, phosphorylation acetylation ubiquitination sumolization glycolysation and adp ribosylation okay and also in more detail way here in this particular natural portfolio website i just got histone post translation modification generally include covalent modification of histone by phosphorylation on serine or threonine residue methylation on lysine and arginine residue and acetylation of deacetylation of lysine and ubiquitination of lysines and sumolization of lysine so i think you are the one who wrote the examination by providing these kind of article you can able to uh, give a more confident about your answer so all these are post translation modification of histo next trap or limb development digit apoptosis by so please uh, uh, give the uh, leave about question they are asking uh, which particular factors involved in apoptosis so you all know so you can refer this particular website like uh, they have provided a snapshot summary of trap or limb development they had taken from 6th a developmental biology sixth edition see here they had given cell death in limb is necessary for the formation of digit and joint and this particular cell death, that is apoptosis is mediated by bmp the full form of bmp is bone morphogenetic protein okay the effect of bmp can be regulated by noggin protein and bmps can be involved in both in inducing apoptosis as well as this bmp is also involved in differentiating the mesenchymal cells into cartilage next question which country is the maximum producer of carbon dioxide i don't uh, i think they didn't mention the year and all but based on 2016 data the first state is china china is the largest and maximum producer and china is having nearly 29.18 percentage this is with respect to 2016 data i just mentioned uh, so china is the correct answer next ulva formation is cl again so uh, I, i think the question has been asked if you want to know the correct answer for this question either you can go for referring gilbert book or else refer teaching partial jodi kumari ma'am video about ulva formation in that uh, she had clearly explained and uh, if the anchor cells are destroyed mean all the vpc will you know, will form into epidermal or hypodermal formation so if the anchor cells destroyed means then ultimately there will be no ulva formation and don't know the full question so i cannot able to solve this particular question once official question paper has been out then definitely i'll be putting a solved question paper next which among the following steps in replication uses atp hydrolysis i don't know uh, which among the following or which one of the following is not using atp i don't know what about the thing but uh, first thing is that phosphodiester bond formation required atp so atp is involved in uh, a phosphodiester bond hydrolysis so uh, for to form phosphodiester bond it doesn't require atp so atp is not required for phosphodiester bond formation but atp is required for hydrolysis of 
that is baking of phosphodiester 1. Next helicase activity, DNA helicase or ATP dependent unwinding enzyme. So, which actually promoting the separation of two parental strands by establishment of replication probe, which will progress. So, ATP uh, helicase activity is mediated by DNA helicase and DNA helicase is a ATP dependent enzyme. So, ultimately helicase activity will be requiring ATP. And what about the clamp loaded in DNA polymerase? Again, uh, you can refer this particular article in NCBA website. So, what they just mentioned, they done a study in E. coli and eukaryote. What they have shown? The camp loader requires a ATP in order to bind to the sliding clamp. Okay, and next, last thing is that Ogasaki fragment ligation by DNA ligase. So, again, you can refer this particular article which has been published on 2022. Here, the title of the article is the ATP dependent DNA ligase. So, DNA ligase is the enzyme which requires the ATP help. Next, the question, there was a question with regard to. <coughs> alpha diversity, beta diversity and gamma diversity. So, if you check on my revision series then it will be very much helpful. Alpha diversity means naming and characterization of species that is classification based on morphological characteristics. Whereas beta taxonomy means it deals with the arranging of species in the natural system like classification based on anatomical, cytological, morphological, genetical and ecological. Okay. Whereas gamma taxonomy concerns with the evolutionary sequence like intraspecific variation and interpretation of organic diversity and gamma diversity is a classification based on microscopic environment biochemical characteristics okay next question latest extinct organism okay which is the organism with latest extinct so i don't know in the question they are asking which organism got extincted due to the incorporation of diclofenac if that particular question has been asked then ultimately the correct answer is vulture so here there is a separate article toxicity of diclofenac to vulture you can refer this particular article whereas if they are asking latest extinct organism i think ivory build would uh, build woodpecker is a correct option but but when I check on this ICUN red uh, list, here I can able to see ivory bill woodpecker is an under critically endangered. So, you can refer this particular website. I don't know this particular question is uh, I just meant wrong or what is the question. Only official thing has been out. Then I can tell you the latest given vulture is also not extinct. It is under critically endangered. So, both the vulture and ivory bill woodpecker are critically endangered. So, next thing is that optically inactive amino acid. So, which of the amino acid is optically inactive? So, so, the correct option is glycine is the correct option. These are e easy option but only if you go through Leninger book then it will be easy. So, whenever you are preparing for CSI examination either go for referring YouTube channel which are taking notes from a textbook or a refer a Leninger book by yourself. So, why glycine is called as optical inactive means glycine have only H as a functional group which acts which lacks the optical activity. activity. Which of the following is not extracellular matrix protein? The correct answer is selectin whereas catherin, vitronectin, lamblin or extracellular matrix protein if you want in-depth analysis you can refer this uh, uh, particular article which has been published in 2010 and with regard to selectin they are not extracellular matrix protein they are a family of carbohydrate binding protein which is also called as lectin so lamellin vitronectin catherin or uh, so extracellular matrix protein and with regard to vit vitronectin it is an extracellular matrix protein present in brain okay Next, which of the following is involved in DNA repair? So, you can refer this particular article, friends. A regulation of DNA damage response to double standard break repair by post translation modification. In that, what might be the correct answer means I think ubiquitinylation of lysine is the correct option because when I refer this particular article, I could able to get this particular thing. So, ubiquitinylation of lysine residue is the correct option, whereas all other options like phosphorylation, methylation, acetylation, I think it is not a correct option. Next, which on which of the following has a high oxidizing capacity? The op correct option is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the most oxidized form of carbon because four bonds on the carbon are onto the oxygen that's why it's called as highly uh, that's why this carbon dioxide is always in a highly oxidized stage next insect pest species follow which type of survey survey so you can refer again this nature article it is providing a detailed explanation so it is very easy for even those students who are in trouble in reading textbook so next uh, this particular uh, the answer for this particular thing is that either if you given type 2 or type 3 it is correct because there are three different type of survivorship gap type 1 uh, is generally followed by large mammal that is those animals which are having low death rate and high survivability whereas type 2 is followed by bird and mad and type 3 is a small mammal fishes and invertebrate that is type 3 curve, curve uh, significance there is a high death rate and low survivorship okay so in in this particular thing they didn't mention but in this article they just mention uh, the insect population follows type 2 curve so both the type 2 curve and type 3 curve are being applicable because 
insect they, 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 they what they will do they will be producing a more number of offspring at the same time the lifespan of insects is very less so there is a low survivorship capacity and high death rate so that's why insects are following type 3 curve but in this particular article what they just mentioned some insects might follow type 2 curve okay uh, if the insect is having a constant loss then they might follow type 2 curve which of the following syndrome is inherited from father or grandfather so all the I don't know option is correct or not but no option is correct friends every option is uh, wrong I think so because uh, what are the disease that are transported from father to grandfather means uh, wilding disease so son can inherit a y chromosome only from his father or dad so all the traits that are present in y chromosome will be passed okay and his grandfather will inherit his y chromosome to his son okay so that's called wilding inheritance if you take uh, this particular disease it is transport uh, the inheritance pattern is called as autosomal recessive and the, in this particular disease syndrome there will be extra chromosomal so down syndrome there will be extra copy of chromosome 21 and in this syndrome there will be extra copy of uh, x and with regard to this fragile x syndrome they follow a x link dominant pattern okay so uh, i think the option which i entered is wrong so you need to wait but uh, fragile x syndrome is not in correct option they are following x link dominant pattern okay next question is with regard to so so with this i am completing the question in part 2 i will be explaining the uh, next question thank you friends thanks for watching this video